As was previously discussed by Mr. Spanuncio and Silverio and Mrs. Valdez and Duran, the Philippines experienced long reigning colonization from the Spanish. Within this video is an overview of their discussion of the Philippines under Spanish colonization presented by Mr. Olvis and Sanchez and Mrs. Magpantay and Rambano. It is common knowledge that the arrival of Ferdinand Magellan on the 16th of March in the year 1521 in the island of Homonhon foreshadowed the Spanish reign in the Philippines. It was the Spanish that introduced the concept of the Roman Catholic religion to the early Filipinos, and they even held a mass on the 31st of March of the same year in Leyte. The religion would influence most of the Filipino population up to present day. But the Filipino beliefs wasn't the only thing that was influenced by the Spaniards. As years went by, we have also adapted the Spanish architectural style, their rituals, festivities, and even their forms of art through dances, songs, paintings, and literary writings. On February 13, 1565, the Spanish expedition of 500 men arrived on Cebu, Philippines. Miguel Lopez de Legazpi led the men and conquered the Cebu despite the Cebuano opposition. He then became the first governor general in the Philippines, marking the start of Spain's dominion over the Philippines. The Spain started the Reducion, a process wherein the Spaniards will relocate or move the inhabitants called Asindios to the settlements the Spaniards built. There's also the pueblos known as towns, which originally came from the Spain culture, while the Cabecera is known as the head of the town and it is commonly found along the coast and rivers. Cabeza de Barangay are known as the head of the barangay, a counterpart of Datus, then the gobernador Silios led the pueblos or the towns, and lastly, the alcalde mayor, the head of the provincial government. Then the encomienda system was presented to the Philippines. It's a labor system wherein the strong people offers protection to the weaker people in exchange of services. This soon led to the slavery of the Filipinos during the Spanish colonization. Hispanization. According to our research, the Hispanization refers to the process by which a place or person becomes influenced by Hispanic culture or a process of cultural and linguistic change in which something non-Hispanic becomes Hispanic. Most of the things included here are the rules and laws implemented under the rule of the Spanish king. Part of the said Hispanization is the first count of the conquest of the Batanes Island by Jose Basco E. Vargas, who was one of the most economic-minded and 53rd Governor General of the Philippines. Most of the impact landed on the agrarian economy. Farmers were forced to sell their crops to the reigning government, forced to pay a tax, forced into labor in order to mass produce a non local product, and forced to trade with countries and other colonies despite local poverty. This period in Philippine history lasted over three centuries and significantly impacted our ways of thinking and culture. Most of our previous religions and literature were destroyed, as were the stories of revolutions under the Spanish. The next period of revolutions will not come until the 1800s.